Hello everyone. Today our program is dedicated to the future and we have a guest. Hello Marie. Hello. Tell me what can we expect from the future? For the beginning it would be desirable to tell. Our life became much easier after one physic from the Great Britain has invited the engine which allows to process the solar power in mechanical. So then of what problems this invention give us? Cars began to work unassisted, fuel that has led to elimination of problem of ecology with which you, our ancestors, struggle in the moment. What can you say about education system? The study in educational establishments became more interesting and more quickly. After a form of formation which have approved in 2039, namely there was a possibility to be trained by means of glasses of uh, virtual reality. Is there a threat of famine in the future? During unexpected deficiency of food staff in 2028, community of the French chemists, after long attempts to solve this problem, have surprised the world with the opening. They have deduced the formula of such substance, which has allowed to accelerate growth of plants in the southern times. What about medicine? We have solved the problem of high death rate in some regions, having started to grow up artificial organs in laboratories. At the moment there is a huge problem with secondary production waste. Where to put them? Do you have a solution? On all territory of the European Union, private enterprises on protesting garbage began to appear. What else will surprise us? There were hearings that physics from Czech Republic have created a perpetual mobile machine. Uh, they didn't give the official information yet and refused to give any comments and interview. I'm sorry, get it. Oh, no, no, no comments. Thank you. No, no. You know, in my country where I was born, now a military conflict. Can we hope that world peace will soon come? Whether you can believe what some years all the countries of the world don't carry out any military actions aside each other. Well, here such Europe waits for you in 2050. It would be desirable to tell that we live during an extremely fine time without illness, famine and unemployment. We have constructed the world in which it would be desirable to live, love, breath a full breast and to be happy in which isn't terrible to grow up children and to experience for the light future. As our ancestors spoke, the Europe in each of us, we are proud this rank, the European.